What's up everybody? Scal DM Cop 37 here with another DHT for April 16th, 2021. Everything's going cool, I think. Finally getting to springtime. Still waiting to get vaccinated. It'll come some point. Every time I check all the spots, it's like it's full, it's full, it's full. Okay, okay. But on to the reason that you've all tuned in today to uh, see if there's anything worth discussing about what happened in last night's game. Uh, last night's game, I already forgot the title of it. It was uh, somebody do something. That's what it was. So the game started with the group dealing with the uh, the betrayal by Latonius and his uh, abilities and whatever that he was able to really uh, put a hurting on the group and if not for the Kyren they probably would have all died so they did a little more exploration around uh, the area, checked the other cave that they the, the Chiron told Covidius he could pick which cave, one cave had what he wanted and the other had healing and uh, he decided to pick the one that had what he wanted thinking that he could get healing at some other time and so he uh, when he chose the one that he wanted it had remnants of an Akariman legion like their armor and weapons he found his swords that he lost in the cave of madness there so the next day after they spent the night there they decided to check out the other cave and they They, they set up camp in the cave um, because it was a good place to set up camp and so um, when they explored the other cave uh, it had something in it um, and if that cave would have been chosen then they would have probably gotten that thing um, but th since they didn't choose it then the um, the other thing was like, uh, what's his name? Uh, Shadrach saw it briefly and recognized it as a relic from his past, and then it was gone. So, uh, anyway, there's always choices and consequences, and um, whether that was a good or bad consequence, we'll probably never know. Um, but uh, in either aspect, um, you know, it's always I always want to give the choice to the players, kind of give them a choice of where they go, and then have there be consequences, good or bad, to that choice. Um, so, Pick was hurting after the fight, and he failed his system shock roll. So, even though the Kyren had come back and healed everybody, he was helpless for 24 hours. Basically imagine if you were like out of shape and you played football and then the next day you woke up and you were so sore that you could barely move and you were limping and everything hurt. That's It's kind of like that but just a little more extreme. Helpless means in my world or my game anyway, it's like you can barely move. You can kind of reach and maybe scrawl out a few words or you know, you're just like water, uh, so, um, so then they decided they were going to go back and warn 
the um, monastery in Black Rock, the, the uh, abbot there, and warned them of Latonius' treachery and that he was probably going to come back to try to free whatever is Bazan, the spirit of Bazan, or whatever Bazan thing is under the monastery in the dungeon. And I don't want to give away any more spoilers, so I will not talk about the rest of the episode there, other than to talk about some things that I like that uh, didn't uh, have a huge impact on the story. But as far as the game goes, it was it was a game where I thought the players showed a lot of. Um, communication skills and respect for each other as far as waiting and giving each other time to uh, tell whatever it is or talk about whatever it is they want to talk about and not um, not like uh, jumping to conclusions about anyone's ideas or whatever uh, so I thought that there was some good role play going on pretty much all night. Um, me personally, I was given a chance to uh, narrate some good scenes and explain the effects of like a spell or there was a certain scene that required a fair amount of description and that to me was a lot of fun because I could you know, use my imagination to try to visualize what the scene looked like and throw in a lot of detail. And I, I'll just say that the scene was supposed to be unpleasant to look at. Um, the scene had a lot to say for just being a scene. So uh, I felt like that was fun and well received and. Um, and then there was a little bit of um, problem solving that went on that I enjoyed narrating and describing. And so it was, um, it's, it's, I, I also I kind of get a kick out of when racial abilities come into play in the game because that sometimes those are forgotten about by the actual players. They forget that their race has certain abilities. And um, so it's neat when those come in and they actually help them achieve something. Um, so that was fun too. So anyway, all around I thought it was fun. Um, and I thought that it moved the story forward and uh, I was also able to throw in a little something something that maybe I can use later. Um, so, and uh, at the very end I'll say that uh, there was, um, mm, I can't say anything about it, a, 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 like a surprise thing that happened and um, I didn't think I would get the chance to do the surprise thing but I was given the opportunity to do the surprise thing and the surprise thing and when I say I did it I mean the thing was there and then the players didn't either acknowledge it or do anything about it or whatever so I was able to allow the secret thing to come out and that that's always fun whenever the players are like oh oh so anyway uh, that's about it really just good times good times and of course I did my uh, once a game choke while monologuing like and then the I don't know why I always do that anyway uh, that's all I got hit that like button really liked it hit that subscribe button uh, if you like Midwestern nerds playing their own D&D &D game based on second edition you come to the right place all right we will see you 
Thursday on Facebook uh, Live for the live stream and then on YouTube the next day. So, if everything works correctly. Roll them 20s. Cling!